Basically, my old man was a smoker, and I've seen the effect it's had on his health later on in life, and the effect it had on my my sister particularly. And you know, I think anything we can do to sort of encourage uh, the negative impact smoking does have on not only the person smoking but the people around them is fantastic. And you know, if we can be, play a small part in re-educating or educating people, then I'm all for it. You can tell on some of the lads, younger lads that smoke, and they don't have anywhere near the aerobic capacity of the guys that don't smoke. So it's a real pre-season's a real wide opener for the lads and you can sort of certainly tell who smokes and who doesn't smoke. One of the lads um, is on the, uh, the old e-cigarette at the moment um, and he, he's trying his best to quit. He still claims that the post-match cigarette tastes better than the e-cigarette but he's, he's at least trying to, to, to ditch it and quit it and I think if we can then re-educate him and give him some new tools through the, the campaign then it'd be fantastic. You know, they probably think, because everything in life costs money these days, isn't it? So they're probably not aware that this free service is there, so the fact that it is and we can tell them that and we can pass it on to the community through our training and stuff, fantastic. I think it's going to be a great benefit for our younger lads because um, we operate 12s, 14s, 16s, 18s as well as the open age so if we can actually pass the message on to our own kids as well as the kids in the community we coach, I think that's where the key is, it's all about the message early doors because we all know the addictive power nicotine has um, so quite often by the time they're in their early 20s they feel like they're stuck and it's a lot harder to actually break that habit. If we can stop that habit taking force in the first place then all the better.